All right, <clears throat> Christmas stream. And last time, we actually played a really good quest. I was about to say level, but it's not really levels in this game. It's more quests that you have to complete. Really enjoyed it. it actually, it reminded me of Bioshock a little bit, where you have a, a human NPC who goes a little mentally unstable. And, well, in her case, she ended up ripping the gold off these statues and finding that there's, uh, I guess, humans underneath. But they basically turned into zombies and she just kept doing it. Weird. Let's continue where we were. Go and never return. Navy, yeah. Oh, we got set back a bit. All right, <clears throat> so we can get out of here. And this is where we ended in my last video. Um, now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Where, who's this lady? Where's she running to? I don't know who this is. Let's uh let's give her a follow. My original plan, I was actually gonna go to Navia and let her know or not Navia, uh what's her name? Letitia? I'm getting that name wrong. The lady who who's acting as the uh the nurse right now. I was gonna go to her and give her the uh Oh, can I get... Oh, I can't get through. I was going to give her the uh, remedy for that guy who had uh, rheumatism. Is that the name of it? Huh. I was not quick enough to get through this door and join this lady here. Oh, well. Wood carving, a wood carving with a symbol of a fish carved into it. It looks like it might be religious in nature. Hey, it's hey Josh. You've joined my stream. I see you. Um, and actually, give me a second. Let me figure out how to see my chat. I've been able to see my chat from my phone in the past, but I can't see it within my game that I'm playing. Maybe, actually, maybe if I do it like this. Uh, no, that's not gonna do it. Hold on. There we go. So if anyone chats, I will be able to see it now. All right, back to the game. Right. Uh, okay, yeah, we're too late for whatever that lady was doing. Uh, I can't see anything. Okay, here we go. I don't even know who that was. I just, I just saw her running that way, so I thought I'd follow her. Where are we? Hmm. So we found a sort of back entrance to where the shops and the bar is. I don't know if I should be... Ex he watches through their eyes. Huh. He as in maybe the god that enforces the golden rule? That's possible. More gold, a bottle of wine. Possibly, possibly the last bottle of wine in the city. Well, I will take that. That might come in handy. Maybe for some bartering. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should be doing this and exploring, but I'm uh, I'm too curious now. Right, let's see this. 
the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Right? That means nothing to me. How was how was Christmas? Christmas was good. Christmas was Christmas. We opened gifts. We ate a lot of uh, baked goods, chocolate. In my case, I love chocolate. And it was just a, it was a nice morning. How about yourself? I love Christmas. Christmas is the best. There's there's always that lead up to Christmas where it gets exciting and then you have the day of. Christmas day is good. Uh, and then it's just a quick drop off after that. <laughs> it's like, all right. Let's uh let's put the decorations away now. Yeah, let's get rid of that tree. Still, I I love Christmas very much. Um Yeah, don't know. Whoa. Oh. We found a back entrance to this lady. Again, don't know who she is. Oh, better put that away. I don't want to spook her. <clears throat> Roman plaque. A plaque bearing a Latin inscription. Pluto, father of riches. All right. And I just took it. Wood carving. Yeah, we already saw that. Uh... This, this is Octavia. I think we've spoken to her before. Uh, your Christmas was great. You spent yesterday with your girlfriend's family and then my immediate family and I opened gifts last night. You opened gifts last night? <clears throat> That's cheating. You're supposed to do it today. Uh, taking care of my grandpa today and watching football. Well, that's great. Who's playing? I don't even know who's playing. I, uh, I kind of tuned out the rest of the football world after the 49ers predictably lost against the titans all right let's what talk to her please leave. what am i doing in here please leave all right i said please leave you're trespassing am i the oh. many shall suffer oh my bad the sins <laughs> of the one. okay oh i just got a key All right, I gotta get out of here. This that was bad. I didn't realize I was gonna do that. All right, let's go. My bad. We've got to run really fast. My mistake. Uh, let me see. Can yeah, zip line. some reason, the statues are not shooting at me right now. Uh, <clears throat> that was a mistake. <laughs> um, that was really dumb of me. My bad. Uh, the Packers and Browns are on right now, and Cardinals, Colts tonight. That should be a good game, I guess. It's not cheating to open gifts yesterday since I'm Mexican. <laughs> I, what? Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. Um, all right. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Uh, I'm Chris, and I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Right. Uh... I need you to stop Fabia entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find what he's looking for in there. Right, so you can only pick one thing for him to do at a time, it seems. Uh Yulia. Oh no. Alright, I can do that. Oh, I okay, I can make him do two things. That's great. Okay, I need you to stop Fabia entering the empty shrine. Yeah. Alright, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. That's great. I'm I'm happy with that. So all of our progress before I went back in time right there is 
essentially saved. He's going to do everything that we have already done. Mexicans typically celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve and open gifts around midnight. Oh. I can't even make it to midnight. I I can barely make it till Ixian 9 o'clock. So what I want to do is uh, go to talk to that nurse. So let's go find her. Head up here. Yep, right in here. All right. Lucretia, that's her name. She's busy. All right. Does that mean... Okay, so he hasn't talked to her yet. So he's going to go do that right now. Here he comes. There he goes. Lucretia, no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. What? Quick, give it here. I'm just going to help her swallow this. I think she's going to be all right. Galerius, you're amazing. How did you know? I was just doing what the new guy told me. I don't understand. How did... Never mind. Thank you so much for acting as quickly as you did. Another man is going to be lost now. Can't stay. Place is to be. And that's the building falling on the assassin. This is good. Wait. Oh, I was about to say, where did she go? All right, Lucretia. All right. Yes, uh, I figured out how to treat rheumatism. You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? Not great. She's alive, but she just wants to be left alone, and the treatment is willow bark. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Of course. Willow, willow bark, a pot of finely shaved willow bark for medical purposes. All right. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. Me too. All right, That's see ya. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. And that reminds me, I actually messed up the speech path, uh, path with Ulia before. I made her mad. So let's see if we can do the other speech Sorry, options with her now. I'm still a bit out of it. Galerius just saved my life. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Yeah, this, this game is on Game Pass. It's basically a mod using the Skyrim game. And uh, it involves time travel. Anything that involves time travel, like, I'm all in. Uh, that's why I love Dark on Netflix. I love Back to the Future back in the day. Anything with time travel, I, I will 100% play it. And basically what you're doing is you found this lost roman city and you find out that uh there's a lot of issues going on in the city and you're tasked with trying to resolve those issues and you can manipulate time to find out uh the problems that each of these people are having how to go about resolving those problems and again the, the time travel really helps to uh to, to fix all these problems uh and then there's this thing called the golden rule and basically what that is the golden rule kind of states if you do anything criminal within this city the the god that sort of overlooks this city he makes all these statues around the town come to life and shoot these golden arrows which turns everyone into gold kills them basically so you can't steal you can't kill you can't do anything that you just saw i trespassed that's considered breaking the golden rule and all, all hell breaks loose when you do that so uh, let's ask her what do you think about the golden rule oh a 
priestess at Quetia once told me it's the god's way of creating a city without sin. But if that's the case, then whichever god is responsible for it didn't think it through. I mean, all it really does is make bad people better at hiding their sins. And good people too frightened to stand up for themselves. I've seen Maliolus, Claudia, and Domitius make grown men cry. Romans. They don't cry easily. They've never physically hurt anyone. But the point is, they don't have to. They've got people running scared because everyone knows Maliolus is the favorite to win today's election. Don't worry, I'm working on that. Can I help? Uh, I'm going to sound confident. Don't worry, I'm working really? on that. Then I hope fortune smiles on you, friend. That's all she's got all for right. me. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. I will say this game is primarily dialogue based. Keep you safe. So if that's not your cup of tea, then I wouldn't recommend it. There's there's not a lot of action. That we've had some actiony parts, but it is mostly uh, dialogue based. Did you see South Park post COVID? There's some form of time travel. Well, I love uh, I love South Park. Um, no, I haven't seen that one yet. I think it's on HBO Max. I will I will check that out and watch that. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. This guy has the rheumatism. So let's try and help what him out. What business is that of yours? I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark, and you should feel better in no time. Willow bark, and this will work. Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. It's on Paramount Plus only. Ugh. <laughs> Who's ordering that? Um, all right. Well, if I can get a month free, I'll, I'll still check it out. Promo code South Park. Got it. Uh, all right. Rufius. So we've helped him. I guess let's go through the rest of his dialogue options. I don't know what he's going to really do for us. Hasn't been made clear yet if he's going to be of any help. Let's find out. Do you know a way out of here? No, I don't. I did hear a rumor that Aurelia, the tavern keeper, has been offering to sell a way out. But I barely have two sistersi to rub together. What do you think about the golden roll? I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Uh, I know the feeling I've lived through a pandemic. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I gotta pick that one. Then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. While well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. I think you're right. That doesn't help me. Oh, sorry. Who are you going to vote for? Maiolus. Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? Uh, yeah, anything I can do to change that? 
Maliolus is, it seems like the lesser, or uh, no, Sentia seems the lesser of two evils. Maliolus seems like a, a very sketchy character. So uh, I agree. Pushing for Sentia seems like the, the smart choice. No. Oh. You said you owed me one, remember? Uh, who do you want me to vote for? Sentius. Fine. I'll vote for Sentius. But no more favors. We're square. Well, I, so I guess that's all Rufius is good for. We, we got him to change his vote to Sentius, so... It's fine, I guess. Uh, is that just gold sitting there? <laughs> a wooden bucket. Looks like the owner dropped it while fetching water and tragically never picked it up again. That is quite tragic. Alright, let's let's look at our quests here. What do we need to do? <clears throat> so we could go talk to Maliolus and interrogate him a little bit. We could try and stop Ulpius from killing himself. I kind of like that one. I might do that one next. And then there's Livia, the old lady who's acting strange. And for that one, we have to go talk to the priestess. Uh, and I'd rather do these secondary missions before I get to the, the main ones here. So let's let's start with Ulpius, where he is going to be up there. <clears throat> If I can remember how to get up there. Isn't the great temple majestic? Uh which way do I go? No, this doesn't feel right. Okay, I think I need to go this way. That's quite an impressive boat. Yep, that's it. And then it curves back around. And there's still a handful of people I haven't really spoken to yet, so I'm sure there's more missions that I'm uh, that I, I don't have lined up yet. So we will go talk to those people in due time. Right. Okay. Here's Ulpius. This lady's gonna get in my way. Can I just go around her? I want to go. Uh. friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Uh, gosh. Um, I'm feeling a bit on edge. Good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's well. It's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. You know, you, we haven't spoken to her yet. Uh... Maybe we should do that. Okay, what's your story? Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. How did you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. 
Uh, fair enough. God, don't you mean gods? Let's hope so. Uh, uh, sure. Oh yes, of course. A slip of the tongue. Hmm. If you like. Do you know a way out? I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumours, but if you're desperate, and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods, uh, the gods, decide our fate. Thanks, but it's definitely a scam. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, we already found out it's a scam. The lady just gives you poison to kill yourself, so it's a scam. Oh, I see. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm sorry I even suggested it. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> okay. What do you think about the golden rule? Mm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin, and that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? Uh, I don't think so. I think people are fundamentally good. Seems that way to me. Uh, I don't like either of these options. For me, personally, I feel everyone's a little bit different. Um, I think sin does come out of uh, the environment you're placed in, the people who raise you, uh, and, and some people are desperate and they have to, cling to uh, cling to doing things that they don't want to in order to survive and get by, or they're just not really taught that you know, there's uh, a better path to take. So. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm sort of verbalizing it, maybe I do think it's the first option. I don't think so. I think people are fundamentally good. Basically, you're saying people start with a clean slate. I guess the the, the counter argument to that is uh, people who are just born with problems. <laughs> uh, I guess is the way to put it. Maybe a chemical imbalance. Uh, and, uh, you know, not everyone is born the same. Uh, I, I guess... That's why I don't like either of these options. I'll go with the first one. You don't think that's a little naive? Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what I've I do seen. think that's naive, yes. Innocent men and women torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and cheer. Uh, fair point. Perhaps you're right. If that's true, then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. Unless, of course, there's some kind of Divine intervention? Oh, there's going to be some intervention, all right. <laughs> I wish I shared your faith. Uh, the voice acting is pretty good. It's, it's actually spot on. I think that's one of the reasons that this game is getting such high ratings. If the voice acting was off the mark, uh, I don't think it would have a cult following that it has. Uh, and if you just search the Forgotten City, you'll see like people are lauding this game. They they really think highly of it. And yeah, I, I think it's the voice acting. It's the story. It's the voice acting. It's definitely not the action. Again, it, it is a one mostly I was about to say 100% uh, dialogue based game, but that's not 100% true. There's a little bit of action, but the large majority of the game is just talking. All right, so you're a Christian. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Your secret is safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. All right. All right. Well, See you later. It was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. All right, Opius. No, 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 no. Opius, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. 
What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Um, let me see. Do you really think his suicide would break the golden rule? I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far. Thank you. And please, Whoops. choose your words carefully. My bad. Um, is this what Scintilla would want? Uh, stop this right now. What should I do? I'll do the first one, Scintilla. You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe me if I told you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. Maybe I can help solve your problem? It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Lucrece was able to give some Sylphium in time to save her. She's going to be fine. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Um... Wait, why do you need 2,000 denarii? Yulia and I are in debt bondage to Maliolus. We might as well be slaves. And that's how much it will take to buy our freedom back. I see. Uh, or how did you get yourselves into this much debt? Uh, yeah, how did you do that? Oh, so it's my fault. Is that it? You know what? Forget it. I am out. What? Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Alpheus, no! Really? Ah. Uh. Well, I guess I goofed that up. I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... Oh, Lord. That poor lamb. Oh... Was that my that fault? That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted moments after you arrived. Alright, what you happens now? Let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Alpheus. I think... <clears throat> well, the priestess. I think I goofed up that dialogue chain. Or, as the whisper just told me, I have to go talk to the priestess instead. So let's go, let's go talk to her. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh my gosh. And I just killed myself in an accident. Continue from last save. My bad. <laughs> I was trying to use the, uh, the rope there. All right, well, let's see where it spawns. It spawned us back here. <clears throat> we can give it a, let's give it another go. Salve, friend. Welcome. Let's welcome. skip through all this again. Hmm. I'd like it on and uh, if that's, I'm afraid it, I hope it, here, but, oh, we were stuck, I woke, oh, if you like, okay, all right. let's skip to this, oh no, 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 what? that's the idea, um, help, I don't, 
Is this what Scintilla would want? No. Well, you don't have to. Maybe it could solve your problem. Oh, but we still. Um, let's say. Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. No, you be free. Do that for us. Couple of complete strangers. Uh, of course, if I have to, of course. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here's your money. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. Don't worry about it. I'll go and take care it. of things with Maliolus and tell Yuli of the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. Now, the only issue I see there is if I don't want him... If I don't want him uh, dying again, if I go back in time, I need 2,000 of, of the gold each time. And, uh, gold is kind of hard to come by in this game, so. I don't know. We'll see on that one. Did I get any nice gifts this year? <clears throat> yeah, I got, um, the Witcher books. I've been, uh, I've, I've played Witcher 1 and Witcher 2. I beat those, those two games. And I wanted to start playing Witcher 3. I'm going to probably do that next month. Uh, but really got me into Witcher was the first season on Netflix. I really enjoyed that. So I, I wanted to get the Witcher books for for Christmas. So I'll be reading those over the next few months. And that was probably my, my favorite gift. Hey, hey, what is this? Um... Oh, we should go talk to Ulia. You can see that dialogue going on. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. Oh, I don't even know where I am right now. Um, right, zip line. Right. Uh, I guess we go this way. Seriously, where am I? Wait, I'll just go this way. What else did I get? I got clothes. I always like clothes. As you get older, you just... Uh, I can't be bothered to, to shop for clothes. So I'm very happy and appreciative when my wife gets me new clothes. Just some... <laughs> mostly sweatpants around the house because I don't leave my house very much with uh, COVID and the fact that I'm able to work from home. So most of the times when I'm on conference calls, Zoom meetings, whatever, I, um, I'm i in sweatpants. Mm, a golden bowl, just like Apollo and Diana. Oh, where'd she go? Okay. Citizen. Well, Ulia's missing. Ah, oh, you again. Right. So you around. Rufius doesn't have anything for us. I heard The Witcher 3 is one of the best games of all time. Yes. Yeah, I've played a little bit of it, but it's one of those games you really gotta dedicate a lot of hours to. Shut up. A lot of your time. Okay, so here we go. We gotta talk to this guy. I just spent 2,000 gold on him, so I wanna make sure I get this right. So can we talk about Sintilla? and I were in love, and then 22 days ago, she went missing. All right. Why don't you start from the beginning? All right. One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I wasn't allowed out. So once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof. 
just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her. Standing in the garden of the Magistrate's villa, I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hopeful. And then she looked up and saw me and she smiled. <laughs> I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her, and from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so, for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here, like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. Uh, I think you're hiding something. Is it possible she escaped somehow? All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her voice in my head, crying out to me. That can only mean one thing. Somebody abducted her. I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? Okay, any ideas? about who might have taken her? My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. He is without doubt the most evil man I have ever known. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her, but there is one room in his villa, upstairs, which is always locked. I've never seen the inside of it, and I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. I've already tried that. There's no sign of until really? there. I was sure he was hiding something in there. I feel like I've looked everywhere. At least everywhere I could get to. There are still two places I've never been able to reach. First, the palace. If Navia managed to get in, then I suppose Centilla could have too. The only other place she could be is somewhere in the cistern network. I remember hearing that Dooley had been poking around in the upper cistern before he was locked up. So you could ask him about it, I suppose. Um, Alright, let's go talk right, to Dooley. Thanks for the chat. Find a creative way into the upper cistern. Talk to Dooley. Alright, we can do that. There's one thing I wanted to do over here. There's like a treasure chest. Let's see... Can get over here. Yeah, I gotta shoot the algae. It should turn to gold. Then that'll allow us to climb up here. Pay the chest. Whoa! 500 gold. Thank you. And more wine. Very nice. I'll tell you, when the game first started whispering at me, it was really creeping me out. But now I'm, uh, I'm not too creeped out by it. And in fact, I mean, it's been helping us so much. I, I feel it's our friend. All right, we gotta find Dooley. Where does Dooley live? This way. Okay. Nowhere. Or he said Dooley's in, in prison, so I guess he's not living anywhere. And there's something up here, so let's go check this out. So, I'm... I wonder... Do these chests replenish every time I go back in time as well? Wow, okay. 
thousand thousand gold that time. So the <laughs> the problem I was saying earlier about it's hard to find gold in this game. I think the golden bow has really fixed that issue for me. I'm finding gold all over the place. But like I said, I'm curious do these chests replenish when I go back in time? I don't know. Ah, here we go. Here's the prison. Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, what's your story? My name's Doobin. I live here now because I got in trouble and they... They said they had to lock me up. What did you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was... Looking for treasure. Did somebody think you were going to steal so you're a thief? Uh, you're a thief. Let's go with the first option. Yes. But I wasn't. I, I was just looking. Is that all? They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. A liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? God, I, already, I feel bad for this guy. Let's, let's help this guy for sure. Okay. <clears throat> What is this? Letter from Sentius to Dooley. Magistrate Sentius explains Dooley was locked up to prevent him from trespassing. Magistrate Sentius to Dulius. I am writing to you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the con uh, conclusion excuse me, that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom limited lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memory. Is that it? That's it. Okay. What does it say? It says that you they caught you trespassing several times and they locked you up to stop you from breaking the golden rule. Uh, my treasure. What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then he died. It was very sad. He said if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius and Ek, Ek, the priestess lady. She's a nice lady. Uh, yeah. Can I have the key, please? Hannibal said I shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I would trust you a lot. For sure. Let me talk to the magistrate about getting you out of here. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. Then maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Maybe I'll just break you out. Uh, huh. Um... Maybe I'll just break you out. about the rules? I don't want everyone to get in trouble because I was bad. Then maybe it's time for, we had a new magistrate. 
Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. Yeah, I'll get right on that one. Uh, I want to I wanna do that one. Um, wait. Let me... Hello. Have we met before? Let me do these other things. Uh, do you know where you're out of here? Going to let me out of here? Really? What? Well, I can try. Let me talk to the magistrate about getting you out of here. That's not what I said. I asked you if you know a way out of here. Um, yeah. Oh. Please. I hate it here. It makes me very sad. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, what do you think about the golden oh. rule? Oh boy. Uh, let's talk about your treasure. Used to look after me. Yeah, we he, saw he that said, already. If it, he gave me this key, all I remember is now nobody looks. Alright, let's bye bye. get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. That just made me feel really bad for that guy. I want to go help him. I did not do it duly. So we gotta go talk to Galerius, who is by the. He's over here, I think, by the entrance, where we normally come in from. So let's go find him. <clears throat> oh, no, nope, he's not here. All right, where's Glarius then? Um, let's see. The whispers aren't going to help me. I'm pressing the button just to have the whispers tell me where to go, but. Not this time, it seems. Um, doesn't he normally come down here? The facial animations could use some work in the game. Yeah. Yeah, and some of the characters, their eyes really bug out. Oh, there's a goat here. Uh, goose eggs. Bunch of goose eggs laid by the city's goose. Well, I'll take those. Normally when there's the butterflies, you want to shoot. That didn't do anything. Okay, there's the goose. Don't see Galerius. Uh, yeah, this... They they modded um, Skyrim. I think it was Skyrim. So the graphics and facial features are going to be a little bit lagging today's standards. No, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I do need to figure this out though, I could, because I don't want to pay 2,000 gold to save Opius again. Citizen. Um, I'm looking for a bald, Mr. Clean looking guy. Not that one. <laughs> and not that guy. Not that bald man. There's another bald man. Nope. Listening to the music and dialogue in this game makes me want to play Fable. That was... Yeah, I love... Uh, I love Fable. I think it was... I didn't play, actually, the first two fables I played fable three that was my first venture into that game that was a lot of fun it's a unique experience I hope you're coping Julia hold on I was looking for her earlier oh, to, to chat with it's you again is everything all right 
So nothing new. I just saved I your friend. You're not gonna. Goodbye. She's not gonna give me anything. Fine. Thanks. Thanks for hanging with me, Josh. I'm gonna probably go until I can find this this man that I'm looking for. Uh, who is that? I feel like I'm trespassing. I don't want to break any golden rules right now. Let's get out of here. Uh, here's the magistrate. Oh, he's not going to be in here. Uh, maybe he went to the bar? Then we get another fable. Jeez. Citizen. There's so many games, so many good games to play. And so little time in which to play them all. Um uh, I've I've learned I just when you're when you're playing games, you just gotta take them one at a time. You can't You can't play them all. Um How do you I think for this lady, she's got to come to life in order to get past her. I mean, how else are you supposed to get through this door here? No problem. It's nice to have something on the background that I can pay attention to in and out. Uh, yeah, man. Well, it's it's cool that you're hanging while I'm just, just doing this. It's... Uh, it's a good game. I, I I've been enjoying it. It's not a very long game. I, I think I read online. It's actually probably about lifts his triple head five to nine hours that you can beat praying. this game, depending on uh, how many of the side quests that you want to do. Um, and I'm invested enough where I'd like to do as many of the side quests as I can if I miss any on accident. Uh, I don't mean to. I do not know where this guy... I, I don't even know where I'm going now. I feel like I'm... I'm back to where I was where I broke the golden rule before where I was trespassing. So let's get out of here. The new fable will come to game pass. That game pass is pretty good deal. I, I gotta say. Uh, any bald men in you, here? Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. I don't know where he is. He's the one I need to talk to. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, the Game Pass is just, it's so good. And like I said, I like to just really focus on one game at a time, try and beat it, or try and get as far as I can. You know, there's games like Diablo 2 that you could be playing forever. And, and then I'll move on to the next one. But I try and complete them now, because I found if you put a game down and you move on to something else, you're just not going to finish it. It's just... It's pretty rare that I uh, move on to another game and then come back to finish up one that I was playing previously. So, so like you know, like with this one, I want to finish this game before I move on to playing Witcher. Uh, Great Temple door locked. Boy, I don't know, Josh. Okay, friend. Does she have anything to give me? I just saved your friend too. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, she doesn't have anything new, but she just say thank you. That was nice. 
The reason I don't do Game Pass is that I play a lot of the same games over and over, so I'd rather buy a game and have it to keep rather than pay for access to it. Ah, yeah, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, and there's a lot of games like that where people just, they will play that one game over and over and over. So, I get that too. I like to sort of move on from games. I like to beat them, you know, have a, a goal in mind and then and then play something new. I'm about to give up on this search. I don't know where he is. Hmm. Um... That guy, he will always have 10 arrows there for you, if you ever run out of arrows, because he will die every single time. Can you go back in here, by the way? You can. So this is where we, we first came through. Um, and just because I'm kind of lost and curious, let's see what happens when you go back here now. Oh, there is a ladder in here, huh? So... Yeah, when we first started playing, we came through this hole up there. And that's the exit. But, if you try and escape through there, people have tried apparently in the game. It's the, the god that looks over this place will make all the statues come to life and kill you. So, that's not an option. It's rare for me to play a game more than once after beating the campaign. Most of the ones that I continue playing are the online ones that are repetitive. Yep. Yeah, that's that's most people. That's why games like Hearthstone are so big. Game's been all... How are you doing today? Ah, there you are. Sad. Am I going to die in here? I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me, when you die, a ferryman helps you cross a river and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get... Punished forever and ever in Tartarus. Something like that, but... What if I die and go to Tartarus? Because they say I've been bad. I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do, but I'll visit you again soon, alright? Alright, Galerius. See you then. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? I'm reliving the same day over and over again. You never believed me or I told you. Oh, let's just tell them the truth. Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Sisyphus. Uh, yeah, who is that? Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom. Forcing him to start over and over and over again. For all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. 
The Pelodes had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. Thanks, Glarius. Uh, you're a good man, Glarius. Yeah, I'll oh, say. That's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile. See you, Josh. Have a good afternoon. All right, let's finish this talk with Galerius. We need him to... We want to have him Salve be magistrate. Again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? Um... Did we not do all this with him? What's well, your story? It's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I have all the time I'm in the world. A farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. Jeez. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. Jeez. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So... Then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running fires. down toward the river, screaming Again, with the shouting. fires. Never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. Yeah, I'm starting to get more curious who the stranger is by the river. Is that my character? What if I'm the one that are, that's dragging these people out of the river and saving them? Uh, I'm glad things worked out in the end. Did they? That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurian demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if 
Harvey's right. So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the Legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry. Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his. One day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure? Sure? They're both sure. Sure. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Do you know a way out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius's daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Hmm. Okay. What do you think about the golden room? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here's got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? What do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Ever thought about running? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. I don't think Malios is going to help Dooley. I guess we'll have to wait and see whether Malios frees him. Why is Dooley in a cell? Let's just say I don't think he's going to help him. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man, but I don't see how you could know a thing like that. I guess we'll have to wait and see. You're right, never mind. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mm, I suppose you're right. Hmm. All right, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. All right, well, that didn't really go as I was hoping. Um, maybe let's go talk to Maliolus. Ooh. What is this? Oh. I've got a regular bow and I've got a golden bow. Okay, that scared me for a second. I thought I had lost my golden bow. There's really any reason to be up on this. It's just another way in. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll just have to drop down. Yeah, I thought for a second there I'd lost my golden bow and I'd have to go through that whole process of getting it back. That would have been a pain. But nope, I just have one of each bow. Yeah, let's go talk to this guy. Did you just scale the wall to my villa somehow. I must remember to have words with that buffoon Domitius. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? So you're Quincetus. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gertus. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description in this execution order from the Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Uh... 
I can't prove it to you yet, but I will. Apparently, apparently, Quincidus also suffers from delusions of grandeur. Sure. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. I can't prove it yet, but I will. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? I want you to withdraw from the election. Uh, are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because if you don't, I'm going to kill you? Sure. You fool. What kind the many shall oh, suffer man. for the sins of the one. All right, well, that was not... That was not good. Ooh. Uh, wait, can this lady move so I can go through that door? <gasps> yes, she can. Okay, come on. Ooh. Come on. trying to get her to come out so I can get through that door. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting shot a lot though. Okay, okay. Boom! I just got a crap ton of gold. Let's see if I can get out of here alive. Ah! Yikes. Ow. One more shot and I'm a gunner. I did it. <laughs> I didn't see how much gold I got there, but I think it was a lot. Okay, I'm going to pause it here. Ooh. Barely made it out alive there. Okay, save game. Very good. All right. Well, thank you. For watching everyone I will be back next time I don't even know what I'm gonna do next time this game is confusing um, but I'm having a lot of fun all right see you bye